Hey, yo. I'm back. So hi guys. Um, I'm so, so sorry for not uploading this past semester. It was absolutely chaotic, but I'm back. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about things I've learned specifically academically at Babson. Um, I thought that'd be kind of a good comeback video. I plan on posting a ton more this next semester. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so my first point that I wanted to make is really, it might seem obvious and this kind of does apply to all schools, but in particular what I've experienced. Um, I have a very different schedule sophomore year than I did freshman year. Freshman year, I took all 8 a.m.s, um, which was a mistake. And I didn't, I really wanted to kind of be motivated in the mornings, but I feel like the best way to go through college and actually succeed is to really make a schedule that you know you'll stick to and that is realistic for you. So for example, like my 8 a.m.s just did not work for me. I was like basically falling asleep in some of my classes because I was so tired. Um, and I didn't really realize that I'm just simply not a morning person and never will be. Um, so this semester, what I really tried to do was take later classes, but also kind of, um, I know that I hate having breaks in between my classes. I kind of like the high school day where it's just all clumped together and then you're done. Um, so I continued that, which I did freshman year, but then just pushing my classes later um, really helped me, I don't know, sleep more, feel better, and be way more engaged within class. Like I noticed, if very strong difference. This also translates into relationships with your professors, which I'll talk um, a little bit more about later, but like if you're falling asleep in class, it really does not um, kind of perpetuate a great image of you to your professors. And these are really important people to have at Babson. So just be realistic, be mindful of your schedule. Don't be that kid that takes all 8 a.m.s like I did. And then just obviously either not show up or fall asleep in classes. It's just not realistic. The second point that I wanted to make was um, to not rely on like rate my professor or any of these websites. I definitely made this mistake freshman year. I looked up all my professors, read all these like horrible reviews um, and opted out of some professors based on this. And this was an absolute mistake. I feel like, especially at Babson where your relationship with the professor matters so much is these people, um, these adults have literally been in the careers that you dream of and come back, have come back to kind of like instill knowledge upon you. You really want to um, have a good relationship with them and also not choose them based on someone else's experience that they've had because they might be completely different to you. At Babson, there's like a student opinion survey, which everyone does, and you can look at those. That's um, a better way to kind of choose professors, but um, from what I've learned, some of my fa absolute favorite professors have had horrible reviews and rate my professor, and I've taken some professors single-handedly for their reviews and rate my professor, their positive ones, and have just not had great experiences. So really go into it with an open mind. Um, you will most likely be pleasantly surprised. Um, and also keep in mind that people that do make these reviews are usually people that have had really bad experiences and it isn't really telling of kind of the student body's experience as a whole with this professor. So just be mindful about kind of choosing your professors um, at Babson because you really don't want to not give yourself the chance to establish a wonderful connection with the professor that maybe you wouldn't have had um, had you read these like horrible reviews. My next point that I wanted to make, which I believe is one of my most important, is just to have really strong relationships with your professors and build them early on. I definitely did not do this my first semester of freshman year, which I immensely regret because I had really wonderful professors, but I was very shy. And looking back, it, it made no sense why I didn't establish more of a connection with them. Um, office hours are so attainable at Babson. Um, I feel like the professors here really go out of their way to make sure that um, they give you the opportunity to kind of uh, learn from them outside of the classroom. And because our class sizes are so small, it's almost hard not to have a good relationship with them um, or like a strong connection with them because you're not in this huge lecture hall where the professor might not even know your name the whole semester. But um, through like participation, being actively engaged within class, you can really establish very meaningful connections. I feel like a lot of professors at Babson in particular are very, very real life experienced. Um, I, I feel like that's like unique at Babson. I remember my finance professor this summer after class was like, okay, I gotta go. Like I'm working at Fidelity for the rest of the day. And we were just like, okay, like, like just 
the epitome of networking at Babson is really connecting with people that have kind of done it all before and they also like really want to help you. They want to see you succeed. So um, try to establish professional and kind of um, strong relationships with your professors. It really goes a long way and um, I feel like Babson is very unique and that it's pretty easy to do that. So the next point that I want to make, number four, is to come in with credits if you can from high school. So obviously this is very different whether you're an international student or just APs weren't really like offered at your high school. Um, I know in my high school I don't think a lot of APs were really offered that translate to Babson, but some of my other friends have come in with like 16 different credits and this helps so much I, and I wish someone had told me this because I knew APs were important in high school to like look good on college uh, applications and maybe like test out of certain things but I did not realize that like you can graduate early at Babson if you have credits you get better housing senior year if you have credits uh, I think it's like a super senior thing where like you get first pick onto housing um there's just so many benefits to coming in with credits and I just did not know this and like did not take full advantage of this um but if you can just take all the APs you can obviously don't like overwork yourself but know that APs really apply in college and I wish someone had told me that before the number five um kind of thing I've learned academically at Babson is to really have an open mind I feel like a lot of people that come to Babson, it's like, all right, business, some aspect of that, like whether you want to do finance or or just anything, you have kind of an idea, but like you don't really know. And I came in being like, all right, I like math, like what will this do for me? And I feel like in a lot of classes at Babson, I should have had more of an open mind. Um, I took accounting freshman year and I was like, I'm gonna be horrible at this. This makes no sense to me, blah, blah, everyone says it's so hard. And like, I ended up kind of enjoying it. And there's just certain things where you really, at business school, like you chose business and there's millions of things you can do under that like kind of realm and category of business. But like, if you don't have an open mind about all the core classes that you take at Bobson, it's gonna be really hard to kind of find something you really, really love doing. Um, I know a lot of people come in and they have like a pre-existed notion that they really wanna do this certain topic. Um, they wanna like major in it, concentrate it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they end up taking another class entirely that does not relate to that concentration at all and absolutely loving it. So like really, really have an open mind. There's so many cool classes you can take, like I'm, going to be a junior next year and I'm starting to look into like the different concentrations and classes offered and like if just having an open mind and realizing that hey I might not really know what this is but like why not take it type of attitude really kind of goes a long way and also just trusting your abilities that like you got into Babson for a reason you're going to succeed if you put your mind to it um I feel like I've talked about this in my previous video but just people don't really have like confidence in themselves when they come to Babson, I feel like. A lot of people I've talked to are like, I don't know why I'm here. Like I'm not this like super like financier or entrepreneurial person. I just like want to do business. And knowing that like you got here for a reason is such an immense step towards just success at the college in whole. Um, I feel like I've struggled with this myself, but in the end I've really learned that like I'm completely capable of doing everything um, taking all these really hard classes. It's just all about attitude and confidence. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be uploading a lot more this semester, I promise. Last semester was absolutely chaotic, which is not an excuse, but I'm thinking of doing a high school stats video as one of my next videos, just kind of going through like what it took for me to get into Babson, um, where else I applied maybe, and then all my scores. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.